Lateral and dorsal endotracheal intubation as indicated in critical patients can be done by one individual and dorsal intubation allows for placement of a tube one size larger than normal. Supplies include an endotracheal tube, a laryngoscope with a Miller blade and a pre-cut length of IV tubing. Miller blade and Macintosh blades are available for use with a laryngoscope. The Miller blade is more useful as it is long and narrow should be placed over top of the epiglottis. The Macintosh blade is broad and round and should be placed beneath the epiglottis and the epiglottis should be pulled down. A laryngoscope should be used to avoid stimulation of the larynx which may cause laryngospasm and increased vagal input. The laryngoscope is designed to be used with the handle held upwards to intubate patients in dorsal recumbency and sight along the blade. Lateral intubation can be performed by one individual. In patients with very low flow states, acutely elevating their head to intubate may cause blood to drain from the head and cause a cardiac arrest. The tongue is held between the fingers of the non-dominant hand. The laryngoscope is also held between the fingers of the non-dominant hand and the lower jaw is extended. Then sight along the blade, visualizing the arytenoids and the patient will be intubated. Again, the use of the laryngoscope avoids stimulation of the larynx, which can cause problems in critical patients. Dorsal intubation can also be performed by a single individual. This allows the arytenoids to be easily visualized. The blade is placed over the epiglottis and braced on the hard palate or on the teeth. The arytenoids are visualized and the tube is inserted. A tube typically one size larger can be inserted using this technique than would be done if the patient was intubated in sternal recumbency. In order to secure the tube, a pre-cut length of IV tubing is used. Strands are doubled and wrapped around the tube and then inserted through the loop that is created. This tubing should be pre-stretched to allow it to secure tightly on the endotracheal tube. The knot is locked down and can easily be released by using the thumb pushing out on the outer edge of the loop. This can then be tied around the back of the animal's head. This tubing is preferred because it does not get caught in long fur and when wet is still easily released.